welcome to Watercolor Wednesday. I am Bonnie Krebs, creator of Watercolor the Art Impressions Way. And this week's project is sort of mixing some old with the new. And that's the great thing about these stamps is that every time I come out with new ones, you're gonna be able to use them with things that you already have. So you really are building a collection. So I'm gonna, I kind of went back to this old set and I haven't actually done a video with this, but I love this stamp. This is a stone window and it actually goes back to uh, Project Series 9. And this is set one. So it's this little window right here. We're gonna use that. We're also gonna use this branch from the clay pot set. The new pot, one of the new pots. Now you can use any. So I used one of these, but you can use any pot that you have for this, uh, for this project. But I use this one right here. I'm also using this field grass. So both sides, so the right and the left. In the new foliage set, I'm gonna use this ivy, both the right and the left, and this tiny little foliage. In the new flower set, the long stem, the small one. But again, you can use any of the long stems that you have. Uh, in the flower set, so the basic flower set, uh, the daisy bunch. And then in the foliage set, the vine. So we're actually using a lot of stamps, which is fun to do. It's fun to do these really simple projects that only take a few. In fact, a couple weeks ago, I did a, a row of uh, cottages, beach cottages, and I only used one stamp. But it's also kind of fun to mix it up. So we're using a lot this time, I think 11 uh, in this project. So it is kind of fun to um, mix it up and make it a little more complex just to challenge you. So we're gonna start out by stamping the basic image and that would be that stone window. So we're gonna ink this in two colors. We wanna get that old, um, that old stone look. So we're gonna mix it in two colors. So we're gonna ink it in the sepia first. Get this all inked up really well here. Get the whole thing. that sepia on there and then we're not going to stamp it off this time we're just going to add the um, the African violet to it over the top so just go ahead and ink it up now with the African violet right over the top okay and we're going to stamp that right in the center so just about right there and that looks pretty good so we're gonna go on to the next step now. As soon as that's dry, I'm just gonna take a couple of um, post-it notes and I wanna cover some of this area so that I can I can do the inside of the window. And I don't wanna um, I don't wanna stamp over the top of this image. So I'm just gonna cover this up right here. And you can use anything. You can cut a mask too. Uh, I usually don't cut a mask unless I'm really need one. I try to use post-its as much as possible just because it's so much faster to do it this way. Okay, so let's go on and do our little scene that's inside here. And all I've done is a really simple scene. I've brushed in some water and some uh, little field back here and some sky. That's all we have to do. Just make it really simple. So I'm going to use two colors for the water. The number 86 and the number 29. So this kind of warms up that, that, um, that water a little bit. But you can mix. So try different types of water. Uh, you can use more of a tropical color and make this really, um, make that water more tropical. Uh, it's all up to you. But try it, it's fun. So now we're gonna brush in the water in here and just a little bit. So just kind of brush this in and actually we can move this a little bit here just so we get this water in. It's okay to um, put a little bend in it. Just like that, let that dry. Actually, let's just move this out of the way. And let's put the grassy, little grassy hill in here. And I'm using the olive, olive green. And don't, oh, don't stress about this kind of a thing. You're just kind of brushing in the idea of it here. So don't, don't worry about this at all. Just put in a little green back here. And then go back in now and add some sky. So you can use that same color, just make sure it's really washed out so it's really light, and just kind of brush this in. That looks good. And let's just put in a little darker color here. So we've got that going on. Okay. I wanna make sure that that's really dry now. 
before we go on to the next step. And we're going to add some uh, foliage in here. So we're going to stamp that that branch now that's from the, the clay pot set. So this one right here, we're going to stamp that back into the background. So now we need our little post-its here. So I'm just going to put these back on and cover this area up. So now I'm going to ink this in two colors. So I'm going to come back to the sepia again, just like that. And then I'm going to ink it in the green. So this is the number 72 green. So two colors on this. We're just going to stamp it in here a couple of times. So just one, two, just like that. And now we can remove that little post-it and we can see that we didn't stamp over the window. You don't need to add any water to this until we're finished with the um, adding the foliage. So we don't need to um, darken any of these lines yet. So let's take the little foliage now. This is the little tiny one that's from the new foliage set. I use this thing all the time because it's so tiny. It's just great for these little areas. And we're just going to stamp it in here just like this. So easy. Get it in here a bunch of times. Even though it's kind of in the distance, we still want to see that three-dimensional look. And we get that by stamping it a bunch of times. Okay, so now we can add the water to it and just dab. Kind of blending all this together now. And you can leave some of these areas a little bit more bare. I have to have foliage in every single area. So we're finished with that. So let's go on now and, and finish pulling the color out of the lines. So in inside here, inside this window, this is going to be really dark in here. You can see these lines are really close together, so there's going to be a lot of a lot of pigment on there. And once you get finished with this, if you feel like you've got too much ink on your brush, go ahead and, and um, rinse it off. Under here where these little boards are on the shutters, that's going to be really dark under there. So you really want to see that shadow under there. You can see how that just pops that up. And then just kind of follow these, these little lines, these little breaks in the brick here. Just kind of pull this color out. You can see that um, when you use two, two colors on your stamp like that, you can really see those colors come out. Adds a lot more dimension, which is what we're trying to get. See on the sides of these shutters too, it's going to be way darker. And then pull, pull some of this color out to the outside because this little window is going to be attached to a wall. So this could be uh, a window and a wall, or it could be um, a window inside looking out, or a window uh, in a courtyard looking out. Okay, so we've got pulled all this color out. Let's add a little more color now to the to the window. And that would be to the stones. So I'm adding a little gray. So this is actually number 40 gray. And I just added that to my palette. I'm just going to put a little color on here. So remember, we don't want to cross the lines. Don't want to cross the line, so just apply that color in between uh, all of these stones so you don't lose that the texture of the window. All right, that looks good. So we are ready to move on to the next step, and that would be to add our little pot down below. And I'm I don't need this big this big thing, and so. So on the original here, I, I just used about half of it. So I did not ink the very top of it. We're gonna just kind of fill it with all kinds of foliage. So I'm just gonna ink to about here. So probably just a little over half. And I'm gonna ink it with the two colors again. So that would be the, uh, the African Violet and the Sepia. 
just like that. And you can kind of guess, <clears throat> or you can use a uh, positioner. I'm just gonna guess. That's pretty good right there. And let's just pull this color out of the lines. And actually you can kind of drag that color over to the side too. We want this to sit on the ground so we don't want it to look like it's floating. And then let's ink the vine now. So this is the little vine from the original foliage set. And we're just gonna put some of this in now. Just kind of random. Remember, we wanna get it stamped in there a bunch of times. Up here is good too. I never, or I shouldn't say never, but I rarely use uh, the whole stamp. I usually just use bits and pieces of it. So I really only used uh, about the C, about the C part of it. So right to about here, just this little arch right here. So let's add the water to it now. And it do really doesn't have to connect. You know, you can see that I've, I've just got little groups of vines here. So I, don't, I didn't really worry too much about a continuing vine. Um, it really kind of all comes together once you add the water to it. So don't ever stress out about stuff like that. Just get it in there. It's way more important that you stamp it in there a bunch of times than that you get it in exactly the right place. All right, so we've got our foliage in. Let's go ahead and add the uh, flowers to it, and that would be the little daisy bunch. And we're gonna use the number 29 now. And we're just using a couple of these. So um, we're doing small little blooms here, so we don't need this huge stamp. That's, that's the great thing about these, is you can just ink the parts that you want, and I'm only inking two, two little blooms, and I'm, but I'm still going in a circle. So just like that, just kind of, just kind of walk it around in a circle. So you want to be sure that you're getting it in there enough times. You're stamping it a bunch, even if you're just using uh, parts of it. You still want to stamp it a bunch. Once we get that in there, now we can add the water to it. Just dab. This is this also, this marker has a lot of pigment in it. So I dip my brush off a lot and then come back to it. So I don't want to get too much ink on my brush. Remember, you're just softening the lines. We we'll want to see that dark to light. And don't be afraid to go outside uh, of the image either. So you've got a lot of color on your brush. You can make a few little extra uh, dots. So maybe a little light one back here in the background. It's fun. It's fun to do it. And actually, you start doing stuff like this, you get your courage up, and you're not scared to do that. It's so fun. So we've got our flowers in there now. Let's go on and do the rest of this little uh, pot here. And I'm going to use, <clears throat> I'm gonna use my little IVs, which I love, these little guys. And let's change color now. So I'm gonna use the, um, the number 72. And I'm just gonna stamp it in here a couple of times like that. And then this one is going the other direction. So just like that, let's put one more in here. And it's, it's kind of nice when you use just half of this pot, uh, especially for something like this, it's really overflowing the pot because I'm not fighting those lines here um, in the image. So um, don't be afraid to do that. Sometimes you want all those lines in there, especially if your foliage is coming, coming straight up and out of your container. But if you're gonna overflow it with a lot of foliage, just leave that line off. All right, so we've got our foliage in here. Let's add the grasses now. I just love these little guys, they're so fun. So ink this whole thing up. This one's going to the, to the, um, to the left. And this one is going to the right. You can just kind of put this wherever. Let's put just a few more in here. Like 
like so. You don't have to do much with, with these little lines. Just, just leave them, especially the ends. You don't want to do much to these. You want to just see that little, that detail um, in here. So don't add a lot of water to these at all. Like so. And then we just need to add our long stems that go in the background. And you can use any. I really like this little one because it's small. And it just kind of fits in these backgrounds. But you can use you can use any of the long stems. Let's put just a few more of this one in. So two colors. This is the 55 Iris called iris purple but it's really not purple just like so and again with these long stems you don't need to add any water to the stem at all just leave it it'll kind of do its thing and you can see how it kind of goes back so that dark the dark first impression comes forward and as you stamp it a bunch of times it goes kind of goes back into your image so let's add something a little decorative on here little pot. This is purely optional. You can do this or not. Totally up to you. And then let's add something, uh, some detail back here in the back. Uh, this is the little um, signal. This is the, the uh, pigment, white pigment pen. And we can add just some little, little white blooms back in here. It's very subtle. Um, we don't want anything too, too big. Um, back out here. This is way in the background. Just keep putting these in and let that dry. If you want to, you can add a little more color uh, to the to the background. So remember this is a wall, whether it's in a courtyard, uh, or whether it's inside, um, it is a wall. So we do want to see that background. This window isn't um, floating in space. So you can drag some of this color out and show a little more background in here. Up to you. And we are about finished with this little project. Uh, one thing left to do, and that is to sign and date, of course. Never forget to do that. And put it on a card or put it in a frame. Give it to someone that you care about. You will make their day. I promise you that. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And I will see you all next week.